All right, hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. So I got my iPhone 15 Pro here and that's because I'm gonna be doing an iOS 18 home screen customization and control panel customization, kind of talk real quick. I wanna show it off to you. Uh, I've been using it for uh, a less than a day so far. I was able to download iOS 18 through my developer beta. And if you're a public beta tester, then you'll be able to get this roughly in about a month, they said. And if you are none of the above, then you'll get the iOS 18 stable update at some point once uh, they've worked out all the kinks. But let's flip this bad boy over and let's uh, let's take a peek at what we got here. So number one is the new iOS 18 wallpaper. So if I was to uh, customize it here, which let me kind of get to this point, then you can kind of see a little bit of some different stuff here. So number one is that I can go through and I can change the colors, which that's kind of what we've always been able to do. Uh, but I can go in here and change it to automatic light or dark. So if I go to light, you can see how much it lightens it up. I'm a big fan of the dark mode. I can go over here and change the depth to on and off. So it kind of changes that depth mode, but I'll leave it on because I like that look. But the biggest selling point for the lock screen now is this right here, which is being able to customize the uh, two apps on the lock screen. So you've never been able to do this, but until now. So there we have uh, a lot of different things that you can do, right? So I can add a, my alarm there. I could do um, airplane mode. I can do my remote controls, uh, silent mode, whatever. Um, call me old school, but I'm going to stick with the flashlight and camera. I just like those on my actual you know, screen here. And then another thing that I really like now is just going to point this out is around the bezels. If you control your volume up and down and power button, the bezel moves now. So if you see how that kind of sticks out when I do that, it's kind of different, kind of cool. Same thing over here at the power button. So if you see how I do that, whenever I push it, it kind of bumps that bezel out a little bit, which kind of trippy, but kind of cool at the same time. And there is kind of what my home screen setup is currently. I'll show you some customization that I've been doing, but I wanted to leave it simple for this video to start with so you can kind of see where we can go with it. So the number one thing that is really cool with the customization is if I go and hold the screen and I go to edit and I go to customize, now I have this ability here to be able to customize different color tones of my icons. So currently I have it in light mode because it looks just like all the normal apps. But if I go over here and click dark mode, now all my apps that are Apple apps, so calendar, photos, maps, et cetera, et cetera, now those have darkened. And that is something I really like. Like I like the darked out settings. If I kind of swipe this away, you can see now the phone and the messaging app, Safari, even the cameras all kind of matted out black, which is kind of cool. Um, but if I go back into customization, I can also make the apps larger. So I can make those icons larger. And also um, you do lose the actual uh, verbiage of the apps. But if I go back to small, then I get that back. So that's up to you if you like the larger look or the smaller look. I like the smaller look personally, but let me know down in the comments what you think. And another thing that I like that you can do in the uh, dark mode is I can actually change the darkness of the background. So as you can see right now, how it looks, if I push that button here, now it goes even darker. So I'll do that again. So sun's a little lighter or a little darker lighter, darker. And I like the darker one by far. Now, another thing that you're able to do, which is pretty cool, is go into this tinted mode here, which it does kind of slow. It's, it's a little laggy, as you saw there for some reason. I think that's one of the bugs for iOS 18 that I've noticed so far. But what I really like is that you can kind of customize the colors. Now, this changes every single app, though. It's not just Apple apps, it's everything. And it's kind of material you from Google on steroids, because at least with that, it was really only Google apps. This is everything. And you can go in and change the colors. So you can kind of get all kinds of crazy. 
I think there's going to be a lot of people that do some ugly customizations. You can kind of increase the intensity of the color. You can totally go and make it more muted. Um, another thing that's pretty cool is depending on the wallpaper that you have, you can go in and kind of maybe pick a, a different part of the area of the map of the uh, wallpaper and it will actually pick that color of the actual portion that you've picked. And then of course I can kind of lighten it up a little bit to kind of match it a little bit more and voila. So now you have a complete customized look here and I think it looks pretty cool. You know, I mean, I'm not sure if it's my cup of tea as well. I think I, I'm going to prefer the darker look. So if I go back in to customize and I think I'm just going to go to dark, I think that's going to be the look for me. Now, the other thing that you can do, which I actually really like, which kind of changes it up a lot more than is you can go in and pick different apps, especially from like Apple, where you can hold it and now you can customize it as far as the look. So you can do just the icon, like the app icon, or if I hit that big one, it makes it into more of the widget style now. And the apps that I had on the screen actually goes over to like an extended home screen, but then I can go back over. So if I did and went back to, uh, let's say the smaller one, then those apps come back, which is kind of cool as well. But you can do that with any of them. So if I, if I wanted to go like with the Apple's map here, I could do that. Or if you noticed, I could even do kind of more of the bigger one there and it's going to automatically start moving everything around, but I'm going to go back to the way it was. And, uh, of course it's kind of rearranged it a little bit. So I'm going to definitely want to kind of put it back the way I had it. Um, so there we go. So there we go. So nothing too crazy there. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Now, another thing, uh, that's a little different is the control panel now has a whole new look here. Um, and if we scroll through, uh, you can see like what's now playing. We have our controls for like Bluetooth and airdrop and all that stuff. Um, so that's a whole new look there as well. And you can customize the design. You can make this smaller if you wanted to, or bigger. Um, however you want to make it look. I kind of liked that look there. Um, so I think that's kind of cool as well with that customization that you get with it. But, uh, but that's all this video was guys. I just wanted to kind of show you real quickly the home screen customizations and things like that, that you can do with the phone, uh, and just kind of, you know, just a couple of things. There's a lot more to unpack with the iOS 18, but a lot of it's not been released yet. So for example, like the updated Siri stuff with like chat GPT, uh, none of the photo editing apps and none of that, um, as far as the uh, Apple intelligence has really been released yet. Um, so it's just slowly starting to come out. Uh, but like I said, guys, so far I'm liking what I see. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, it, I just think it's funny that it's customizations that Android's had forever, but I've always liked the way that Apple puts their twist on certain things. I always feel like they take their time and sometimes they'll even increase the um, kind of the way that they do theirs versus how Android does. And sometimes they actually, you know, execute it even better than Android. So I am very curious once everything really starts to come out, how it does. But let me know what you think about the customizations that you can do with the screen. Uh, and if you were to do it, would you, what would you do? Would you do a dark mode, light mode? Would you add just a bunch of different cool widgets and stuff like that to the screen? Or, you know, I'm very curious what your thoughts are on it. So hit the like button. If you liked the video, if you loved it, please subscribe, ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. And, uh, see you on the next one.